everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Here's a legitimate critique, legitimate question going on here. Why did Niji pick NBA? I don't know why Niji picked NBA because as we all know, uh, Japan isn't really big, big thing in NBA. But maybe because it was the EN side, they thought the NBA would work because we have a lot of people in the West who like NBA and it's a popular thing over here in the US. But baseball is much more popular in Japan. So it probably would have worked better even for the JP side. They might they probably would have gotten some JP people on the side if they did a uh, baseball collaboration. Like basically, Howl Live is doing a big W collab with LA Dodgers uh, to uh, celebrate Sh Shohei Otani's birthday. It's it on, the, on Shohei Otani's birthday, which is July 5th. Niji collab involves Rakuten, who have NBA streaming rights in Japan. So it looks less like Niji reaching out to the NBA, more like Rakuten reaching out to Niji. Oh, so that that could be a that could be an idea. But still, um, it is yeah. It looks like it was more basically sponsor based collaboration, as in like Rakuten, like they're saying here, has uh, NBA streaming rights. So they're doing it like there. And the uh, Rakuten has a collection of the stuff going on for the NBA. Honestly, I will stand by this. I believe NBA chose Niji to get more exposure in Japan for the brand. Or like they're saying up here, Rakuten doing, because basically Rakuten is the one announcing all this stuff to the collection, the Niji Sanji collection, the streaming rights, all that kind of stuff. The members involved in it, the first phase, all that kind of stuff. Phase two and phase three, they're going to keep doing it. Um, so all of this stuff. They're going to have Anna. Okay, so they're going to have some people here that uh, weren't there before. Okay, and yeah, pretty much these are all the people that are going to be showing up on the whole collab. So that is, whether it be good or bad, it seems like it was something related more to Rakuten than it was to anything else. Again, another moment, unfortunately, I sigh because they don't deserve this. Yakuman Tembra Salome doesn't deserve this. But uh, the beach scene is weird. Light and shadows make the picture look like an old PS2 game. Uh, compared to Hollow Live and similar scenes, they make the shadows too strong. They make the shadows too intense. Of course, this will happen with stage lighting, but the sun will do something a little bit different. As you can see in the comparison shot right here. Here's a comparison of the one up above. They at least soften the shadows there. At least tried to. And the 3D part is, of course, also not the greatest. And here you have the softer shadows of something that the sun would put because you have... The sun, it's not like the sun is directional and the rays won't hit in any any other kind of um, of angle that will lighten up the, the shadows. It's not like you're all of a sudden going to stage lighting and everything else around you is dark where you're going to have like a spotlight on you. In this one over here, they, they treat the sun like a spotlight. And over here, they treat the sun like it's, it's actually the sun. You're going to have softer shadows. You're going to have lighter shadows. You're not going to have so dark shadows. It's not going to be such a huge contrast between shadows. I'm not an artist and I am not a professional at this, but even I know this is this is not the correct type of lighting. The program that they're using, the people that they're using to do it, don't like they just went lazy route. And this is unfortunate. Like I said, Yakuman Tembara Salome does not deserve this for her concert. Deserved better, deserved less strong shadows, deserved kind of the hollow life treatment down here. You can say you know that the hollow life ones look the same Pretty much it could be that way because that's the way 3D thing is. Doesn't matter. The point is they didn't deserve this. They really didn't. And right here it says uh, Niti Sandy's greatest enemy is the lighting in a 3D environment. Of course the lighting is their enemy. They are a black company after all. Hollow Studio and Tech Team have raised the bar insanely for 3Ds. Niti could probably afford to build their own studio on par with Hollow has but has less money for the yacht. Truly Hollow Tech's in shambles. The sand in Niti 3D looks too bland and flat. Yeah. Uh, high sun, middle noon. While Hollow was sticking 9 to 10 o'clock sun. The shadow is not that strong. But anyways, it wouldn't have looked that strong, in my opinion. But then again, like I said, this is an untrained eye looking at this. Here we go with a big accusation, a big rumor, a big thing that's been put out on 4chan. This person here, usually the person that, that puts it out here, GRXIT, is a person that I trust with, with all these type of things. He usually has a good handle on things and is saying, you know, still, take a look at this. Take a look what's going on. It's a rumor so far. Just wanted to mention it to you and put it into your head. It's a rumor. Uh, Afkai volunteer here for general convention, so not any specific group of attendees. There are some unintentional mishaps, but there's also deliberate sabotaging of attendees that those in charge do not like. It is not company specific, more so individual specific. Take of that what you will. I do not want to sit by while doing this. Believe me, believe it or not, I don't care. My conscience is free now that I have posted it here as far as I've been able to overhear. It will happen again at least one more time today and again tomorrow for the final events. Multiple groups of attendees will be affected. 
I will go with the extra meter, which is the, the meter is the English meter, which is strange. Do my best to prevent all of this for you and put up the defense. If you see someone being removed from the venue, we have, they have stopped me. Please share this with threads and other attendees. I do not have the time to type it all down. All of them, I do not want them to be sitting on my phone in the lobby. So it's like, what even happened? Phase panel got effed up. People are suspecting sabotage. And that's where rats start. Uh, it says, at the very least, FaZe could put pressure on the convention and threaten to never be back going forward. That'd be a financial hit. There are snafus at conventions all the time. I've been part of huge conventions. I've been part of small conventions. I, as the IT people, as the, the, the sound check people. I've been part of all of that, part of the technician team. And it is absolutely understood that there will be issues. A lot of times there will be big issues at the last second. You can prepare for anything and there will be an issue at the last second. So we don't know if it's true or not, but let's just say it is. That would make sense because of the Kersha thing. It would make sense, assuming the rumor's true, because of what happened with Kersha and people, you know, blocking her from being there, people blocking others from being there, possibly blocking Sayu, we don't know. You know, other people being blocked from being a part of that uh, group. And it makes sense that they, if they're giving their, uh, the people who are volunteering so much power, so much strength, that they get to do this, it is does not bode well for Ofkai in the long run. But again, this is a rumor that hasn't been proven yet. Interesting take on the VTuber whistler, whistleblower policy that Nidhi Sanji has shown up in the uh, actual document. That was April 12th, 2024 is when they said that they were doing it. Basically, Nidhi Sanji's answer to people like Doki and Sayu go to reveal all Nidhi Sanji's dirty laundry. A new rule, possibly something added to contracts as well. They give livers severe punishment both in regards to their job and being put in legal trouble. My guess is it could be very well forced the livers to sign a silencing contract Sayu was encouraged to sign. At the very least, I would imagine part of the contract is now part of the current Nidhi Sanji thing. So yeah, that, that part of the thing has probably become a contract now, uh, unfortunately. That's their answer to future Dokis and Sayus. It could be management is finally becoming suspicious of their livers. Like thinking, you know, because of all the rats that have been popping out, maybe they're actually thinking, you know, people are going to be leaking more stuff. Someone could also be the false idea internal connections like we keep hearing about. Could also be the person leaked Nidhi Sanji contract to legal mindset. People like that. As to who the fulcrum could be, we don't know that. We don't know if it's someone on EN side. We don't know if someone's on JP side. Whether or not we could actually figure it out. We don't know what to post. We don't want to put a spotlight on somebody and accuse somebody of being that, of course, because then that, that leads them to being harassed, sued, all that kind of stuff. The livers are seeing the subreddit. It could be some livers that might keep it themselves with Finana, but there also might be other livers who have connections within the company uh, and using their connections to kind of uh, see what's going on. They may do their own investigations. But yeah, the whistle tuber, the whistle tuber, the whistleblower rule is uh what was basically shown to be after raziel's document popped out uh something that could help raziel support her claims that there was some someone even more credible that could corroborate it it's just it's it's a weird thing the whole thing is weird really interesting is that they invoked the policy which hadn't existed before while still painting doki and sayu as the problem they clearly were never thinking about any measures like that in the first place and are practically admitting that something like that had happened they wouldn't have known or had the means to protect anybody. So if something like what happened with uh, Selene and what happened with, you know, Sayu, uh, Zion uh, would have happened, then they would have would not have known because there was no whistleblower policy when both of those things happened. They pretty much admitted to it. Definitely a rat in Nidhi Sanji, probably more than one, either liver or management. Any actual number members or leakers inside Nidhi Sanji ever browse here, contact a lawyer, of course. Always contact a lawyer. Know your rights, especially before signing a contract. But if you're already in a contract, know which parts are enforceable, which parts aren't enforceable. You definitely need to know that. On the Finana part, wouldn't write off Nidhi Sanji is stepping up how much they intrude on their members' personal accounts. Uh, they are known to skinwalk, unfortunately. Easy to make up a lie about how PL or private accounts qualify as company property. They don't. And contract-wise, I don't think they do. But you know Nidhi Sanji wants to take control of everything you use to stream. So they may try to do that. They're at a point where I bet nothing is off the table in regards to cutting down any potential disobedience or disloyalty. That's the risky part. That's why I always look for a lawyer if you are a liver. I, I highly doubt there are any livers watching me from Nidhi Sanji Yen. But if you are, make sure to contact the lawyer and make sure you know your rights. Right here, we have Selene Tatsuki, who was at 739 before they were graduated. And they probably lost some too. Uh, and right now, we have Doki Bird at 711. 711! Yes, that is that is a convenient mark over here in the US. So hopefully a few more thousand subs. She's gonna have, you know, maybe 20, 20k more subs soon. I mean, she's gonna probably hit a, over a million before the end of the year if things keep going that the way that they are. I hope they keep going the way they are because she deserves everything that she's getting. Whereas a tomato, I only serve my my lewd, my lord tomato. For forego skin suit, return a tomato. 
True sub count was around 800k, but we're close. 800k was due to sub dive drive during where is Selen period. So yeah, probably around 790 around there, maybe 780. Let's go. Surpassing less than six months. Nothing can stop Selen at all. Like yeah, it is. It is good. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna surpass them pretty quickly. Like just the, these numbers, she's gonna surpass them pretty quickly. Unless Doki gets 800k subs, it's not really surpassed. Yes, I gotta remember Selen bunch of subs from the mass unsubbing across the board. Let her cook. She'll get there soon enough. Also, don't pressure her. Don't mention it. Don't say anything. Just wish her luck and join if you haven't joined already. Reminder that the concert for Hollow Life First Gen already happened. It did happen as of the recording of this episode here because it was 10 hours ago as of the writing of this post here. So it's going to be rough. Hope Salome is uh, guests are happy to be invited considering she was one of the receiving and Aniti's cast system. Uh, generally hope she's a good time for her fans do too. Um, it's going to be a kind of interesting thing. Kyako Montembora Salome is also going to be tonight. Salome is a good streamer. It is, they really got the short end of the stick when it came to Didi Sanji because they weren't being supported at all. Her rise was meteoric, but her downfall was pretty bad just because of Nidhi Sanji. She had nothing to do with the fact that she's not getting a lot of uh, subs right now, but our views, but uh, Nidhi Sanji just really screwed the pooch with that one because that could have been a Gura killer in JP side at least. Could have been possibly at the level of Hosho Marine at least. First anniversary isn't Salome's second. We'll say though, damn, it's not a great timing for Salome. To be at the exact time. One good idea for Hollow Life is four DLC costumes based on Hollow Life's first, plus a fifth head in costume buying all four. You know, I'm watching both, hate Niji, but Salome is the only one I still watch regularly. Yeah, I have nothing against Salome at all. She is a hard worker. She is unique in the way she does things. Her Desuwa, she's basically a neat pretending to be a, a Ojo-sama, which is an Ojo-sama pretending to be a neat. So it's kind of like a weird thing happening there. And I love it. It, it has good energy. She has good energy. She has good everything, but she got beat big time because the, of course, it is a full Hollow Life 3D live. It is a live for one of their first generations, for the first generation. So it has 95K uh, people watching at this time. It goes up to maybe above 100K and then it drops down below and above and below and above because they always, you know, kind of fluctuate a little bit. But is do not let the number distract us from the fact that I still haven't received membership gift and the 3D live for... Salome is one that I'm going to be showing you guys here. It is 42k watching. So she still had good watch time. And I'm glad she did. Because like I said, she had nothing to do with anything that's been going on with Nidhi Sanji. She is doing her best that she can. And, you know, the highest is not average. Salome is not doing too bad herself. Not bad, but she could Ue at 53k live viewers two days ago. I am just trying to show every side. Yes, there are people that have been doing better than her, but there are people in Nidhi Sanji EN who are doing way worse than her. So she is at least not being affected horribly, but she could possibly have done better if Nidhi Sanji actually supported their talents like they should. And then you have another one down here with Miko uh, doing also 43k live viewers. And, you know, people, of course, trying to show all sides and all, you know, different people just doing uh their special events whichever special events they end up being uh ricky yes fi fine looking 3d concert insert ar live color stuff yeah it's all just like basically yeah you know showing this but um it i just don't want to take away from salome even if it is a person that is part of nidhi sanji which is a bad organization i do not want to take anything away from the livers mori calliope has been announced a little bit of hollow life stuff as a musical guest for anime expo 2024 which means she's going to have a stage somewhere usually a separate concert uh i wish i was going to go and i wish i could could go but you know i have other responsibilities so i can't go and, I, and you know i have to travel and have to get you know airfare other things like that with this announcement both hollow and niji will be present at anime expo 2024 so i wonder what niji's reaction would be to this for any fans that do go there i hope they have a great time whether they are going for niji concert mori or other reasons height has even responded to the tweet we have mori Caliope has a tweet clarifying basically it's one it's a one-off performance likely suicide squad isekai ending song sounds like another promotional event for the anime so here they're saying hype they're basically i'm there front and center it said, as a Suicide Squad Isekai song is the only thing I have planned there as a musical performance. If there will be a panel discussion, etc., I have not yet been informed. So she right now is just possibly going to be doing maybe an intro as a song to the panel, like an actual live performance for the intro to a panel or something like that. It's not going to be like an actual huge concert or anything like that directly competing with the concert that Niji Sanji is going to have. But still, I know this is going to create a lot of people having fun. And a lot of people enjoying themselves, which is great for Hololife. 
this person is a little bit of a positive moment, a little bit of positivity. The person um, was uh, the day that they asked Selen and or Doki to check Freedom Planet during a, a Steam sale. Hopes that one day she would up the popularity of the franchise. I went out of the way to tell the game's own developer her reactions. And this is, you know, her stuff. That's some suggestions and stuff. I saw a lot of people were asking about Pizza Tower. I asked about that game since launch. And sadly, sadly, I will have to say that we will not be able to play. Ah, Freedom Planet. Even the voice acting. <laughs> but even the voice acting sounds like not Sonic. Oh god. I remember Freedom Planet. I, I, I thought the game was very interesting. I thought the game was very interesting. It's Sonic, but I can like beat people up i think right <laughs> yeah sonic but beating people sonic, up but i can punch people oh my god there's not shadow there's not robotnik right there too <laughs> just a little bit of reactions that uh you know bringing some levity bringing some fun with uh doki bird who is now doki bird and not selen anymore reacting to uh freedom planet which was an amazing game i'll be honest with you I, I i think that game is amazing overall and i love her reactions to this more with other vtuber news korean vtuber gumi had her contract terminated from what i understand this is a mutual thing basically they terminated the contract it says i don't watch her so i don't really know well but it's what i got from fan posts team she didn't get proper support from the corp uh, getting events postponed, canceled, cover songs, models also canceled, postponed. Almost everything she wanted was getting canceled or postponed. She seemed to have gotten fed up with it and left. Here is the person. This is Gumi, uh, a god, a literal god. Fifth project is basically like a kitsune type of, you know, fox, demon, fox, god. And, uh, you know, everything's in Korean because she was part of a Korean company. This is her ref sheet. Very cute overall. It reminds me of someone. I can't think who. It was someone from... Um, a smaller organization kana i believe the name was i believe uh re related details will be di uh, discussed at the beginning of today's broadcast i'm telling you in advance that i think we will have no choice but to proceed a little more seriously without any regrets the ice age has ended i'm sorry for the bad news please take care of yourselves during the remaining period on june 22nd gumi returned to the new world so on my birthday on my actual day of birth that she's she's going to be graduating that's interesting and here is, hello, this is Virtual Hertz. We would like to inform you about the termination of the contract with Caster Gumi. And I have it translated here for you guys. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger for you guys. It says, we would like to thank those of you who have already interested in Virtual Hertz. And we would like to announce the somewhat heavy and heartbreaking announcement. Due to differences in mutual direction, you have agreed to terminate the contract with Caster Gumi on June 22nd, 2024. I remember how from the day you first debuted at Hertz, you were more active than anyone else with a lot of interest and passion. They said doing a positive announcement. Make your dream a reality. You worked more devotedly than anyone else under the slogan. But now we have decided to support each other in our past. So please refrain from making reckless speculations and stories about this. It may not be long, but I ask for your continued support during the remaining period. I will continue to support Gumi's path thereafter. Thank you again. So yeah, they are kind of, you know, trying to be positive, which is better said than Nidhi Sanji. This response that Gumi reposted said, I remember. Thank you for leaving me with precious memories. You scratched and ticked. You done Fox Skaki. I'll always be grateful. And they responded here with saying, uh, huh, Jung, Blue, aka Dog Mother, Gotcha Anna King. I think it's probably the, their their mom right here, their art mom, uh, which they have over here is, you know, uh, saying never hate anyone, always be happy. I'm happier than today than yesterday. Basically saying some happy moments right there. And um, this is the fox mom thing. The person who did the art for them says, uh, was a cat and I was able to keep his Gumi. We gave a lot of money, received fan art. Probably received a lot of money, you know, received a lot of support is probably what it means. Hala last in the pretty sky. Isn't the fact that you're ticking, tickling towards the spirit because you value him very much. Thank you so much. You were the best mama. So it's their mama here. And unfortunately, yes, there is a sad moment that my birthday is going to have a graduation. We are looking at the contract termination for a liver under a group called Harivare or Her Here There or hair there, or whatever you want to call it. It is a VTuber organization here owned by V by not brave group is, you know, at least owning or somehow being involved in it. Brave group is involved in a bunch of different things. They have this that they pushed, pushed out uh, on the 30th. 
I do have the uh, the announcement here and I will um, put it out for you right now. It is this one here. Uh, this one here that says, thank you very much for your continued support of Hare Vare or Hair Vare or whatever the heck you want to call it. Uh, we should like to inform you that you canceled the contract with Hare Vare affiliate livers, you know Koyomi Kurama Kaede as of May 29th, 2020. It was difficult for us to continue managing Yuno Reki or you know Koyomi, you know Reki, whatever, as we have been found to have committed violations of the contract. So they violated the contract, apparently. Uh, and uh, false reports to management. Uh, they violated office regulations. That's what they're saying, at least. Uh, determined that it would be difficult to continue managing the co companies they found to have been violated the contract, violated office rules, and made false reports. So they both have supposedly made false reports. I'd like to express our deepest gratitude to all the fans and related parties for the tremendous support you have given to the activities of this talent thus far. In addition, Irium and various SNS accounts of the talent will be closed sequentially and the fan server will be closed on June 3rd. In addition, please refrain from making individual inquiries regarding this matter to affiliated talents, anyone else. Of course, you can contact the company, etc., etc. That's what they're trying to say. They're trying to, I guess, get ahead of everything. I don't really trust them too much. I don't. What is this? It's, it's a freaking graduation notice. I don't I don't know. Unless I hear from the other talents, their side of the story, which we may or may not hear from, it is it is uh, questionable whether or not whether or not these people actually have anything uh, good going on. Whether it's actually them doing it, like I'm looking at the Brave Group thing, and um, they have a bunch. And here's Hare Vare here. They have they have Miria Kaede, who's gone now. Uh, Doyomi Haruto, Kazuma Ryo, Ryo's gone, Natsumire, uh, Fujimiya Yuno, Nana Semihiro. They have Folia, which is all retired. They have Mizuka Haruno, which is Tiny Band Story. Nozomi, Kogarashi Ren, Ruri, Rurigaki Momiji. You have Ayaka, Hinata, Kinato, Charlie Kruller. They have a lot of people. The people who have been uh, marked off, I believe, are some of these folks over here. Akari, they have controversies April 2019. They have different controversies. These are all the people that are under them. And uh, some of these people are going to be gone. As we have seen here, it's uh, going to be Yuno Koyomi and Kaede. Uh, Yuno, I guess Fuji Fumijiya, I guess, and Kanade. I don't see Kanade anywhere around here. Kaede here, I see retired. Uh, Kanade, I don't see, but maybe they already retired them here as a part of this. But yeah, they're going to be gone. And it's unfortunate that this type of stuff has to happen. If they actually did break the rules, if it's a big if, then yes, of course, that is terms for them to be removed. If they didn't break the rules and it's just management being angry at them, that's a different thing. Whichever way you actually want to see this, whichever way you actually want to see it, which, you know, see it as a copy, see it as whatever. I don't see it as a copy. I see it as inspired by because they did enough changes here where it would not be the same. Of course, the tail is different shape and different size. They are a dolphin slash cat VTuber, which basically I think uh, Bao, no, not Bao, I mean, uh, Shy Lily is like a, a orca slash cat, I think as well. The, the appearance of it is going to be the same. The sailor outfit here, the sailor school outfit with ruffled, uh, with the ruffles is a trope in Japanese uh, anime. So it's going to be used for um, the people that are doing VTubing, the cross thing. Is something that like she even says they're similar and she says different things that she has an ahoge she has of course he has a dorsal fin because that's what freaking dolphins have she has the fins on the side that she made different she has um you know the markings on her arms her face her uh her legs uh fluffy tail has markings also she has like a cat type of fluffy tail with markings on it she has a choker uh you know the choker is different uh mine is hard and frilly and hers is orca shaped Shirts, the skirts, the fins, feet markings, arm markings, that type of stuff. The problem is whether or not you believe that this was a direct copy, which I don't believe it was a direct copy. It was an inspiration. Inspiration does not equal copying, does not equal theft, does not equal anything like that. He says, I'll just be blocking anyone that leaves the comments from now on. I don't want to entertain this drama uh, I, anymore. I'm beyond tired of it. Thank you for all the kind people supporting. I would be a mess without you. This is, I, I mentioned myself. This is me. There's an insidious part and hateful part that I never liked in the community because I don't like it when people say that. Uh, inspiration is not copying. You have made it unique and cute. You do not deserve this hate. The cap is going to be the same. Of course, it's going to be similar. She's a dolphin. If you want to appear the dolphin style, then yes, there are similarities. You can say that. And yes, you can say it's inspired by her, but you don't it's like she's showing less skin. She doesn't have the marking on, on the breasts here on, on the uh, on the, the cleavage. 
She has other parts, you know, she's more covered, you know, things like that. The hair is shaped differently. Like the hair does have different shape. It goes outwards while Bao's goes inwards. The ears are longer and larger. They have the star shapes on them. There's a lot of different things you can find here. Um, and it says, yeah, sorry, couldn't find an image without her of the hat, but probably should have found one actually had inspired by this synchro figure. Uh, it is inspired by the synchro figure here. Another difference, you don't have the little orca hat on top, your highlights. But yeah, they do have a little synchro figure here that they added later on. But yeah. Do not go and harass people. If you don't like them, then don't watch them. Just don't watch them. Don't be an asshole and just go and, and harass somebody for, I don't know, defending your Oshi. Uh, supposedly, I, I'm pretty sure even um, even Shy Lily would be like, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that for me. I don't. I wouldn't want that. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't want that. On a more serious note, we have VTuber Megalodon VT who is stating that they have found a lump. Uh, for women, that is a very, very scary proposition because it could lead to the horrible C word that a lot of people fear and everyone should fear because it is a scary thing, of course. But uh, it says, I got back from the doctor today, which is right here, Megalodon, uh, going through everything, you know, going through everything that they wrote. It says, I got back from the doctor today, might have a tumor. I don't know. They said it's worst case, but I don't know what else it could be. It could be benign. Hopefully it's benign. Hopefully it's like a cyst or something that could be taken, removed, etc. Uh, I will get the results back by the weekend from the blood work, and then I will not know for sure. Just really needed to say something because it's been very anxious ever since they told me. My boobas need to calm down. I'm too stressed to have this happen right now. Of course, I sent lots of love and, you know, a lot of, you know, things like that. They said they're saying they're going to be working and trying to get the mind off of it. Victoria was saying waiting is the worst part. Here's hoping it's not the worst case scenario. I know we don't know each other well, but I'm definitely here in case you need something to talk. And it says thank you very much. And, you know, it's actually Mommy Vex going and, and trying to support people, which is good. And it's very scary. Like I said, the C word is very scary. I'm a guy and I had one. The scary thing about having them for men is that doctors are quick to dismiss them. At least in Canada, since our healthcare is pretty bad and the doctors are overworked. But it's a scary experience. I think it was around six or seven years ago when I found a hard, fat lump size of, of, of a pop bottle cap under my nipple. Uh, I went to the doctor and the doctor just told me to keep an eye on it. And that I could have it removed for cosmetic purposes if I really wanted to. But the healthcare wouldn't pay for it since it was a cosmetic procedure. Six to seven years later, and it would remain the same size. I caused no issues. Still have no clue what it is, but it can rule out cancer since the chest cancer doesn't say the same size for nearly a decade. It grows. And that's one scary thing. That type of thing is very, very scary. Tumor in my knee back when I was 19. Anything that is a benign tumor or anything else is a very scary proposition, of course. And it's something that always should be taken care of, of course. And I hope that Megalodon has nothing negative and it's just something that can get removed, can get fixed, can get, you know, just out of there. So to, you know, better uh, make them feel better, make them feel a little bit more comfortable. Some more fun times, but this time with memes, 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 memes always popping up for Afkai Gen 3. That's what people are going to be looking at. Breaking news, Pippa Pipkin, Pipkin Pippa, Pipkin Pippa has been crucified at Afkai Gen 3. <laughs> The full crucifix. She's been sacrificed. <laughs> People love that kind of stuff. Yes, crucifixions. You had here uh, coefficient with uh, Henya the genius. You had Pippa's um, seriously singing. Oh wow, she was singing at Alfkai. That's awesome. Look at this. That's great. She was doing a little little mini concert at Alfkai. That's aw that's awesome. I love that. And of course. People doing the stuff here. Oh, they're teaching them. They're teaching them how to do it. We'll get to, what's a guy practice with Wisps and other fans at Fun Entertainment Panel? That's great when people enjoy this kind of stuff. Also, the last thing. This is this is someone from my from the community. Great power who is like, think fast, chuckle nuts. That's something that uh, I think I think Gura said it at some point. But yeah, this is about the, the Hololive um, thing that's happening. The whole thing that's happening with Hololive. And finally, uh, there's only one good knee in this house. Happy birthday to Niji Ninjago. Uh, Dragons Rising. There's Ninjago and then there's Niji Sanji. No one wants to go to the Niji Sanji route. Ninjago, yes, but Niji Sanji route, no. Wouldn't mean Alira's career will end, but Riku will accidentally smashing a building it was in. Uh, let's give some cheers to Lloyd for powering through the heartbreak of being betrayed by his girlfriend, Harumi. Oh, God. Yeah. That's just, uh, again, wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, meme time. 
That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.